Hello and welcome back to another video, but today I'm going to show you how to use negative lighting in Blender. As you can see, we have this light here. If we bring it closer, it gets brighter, further away it gets a bit darker, like lo lights do. You can only move this down to zero, and then it's the, the item is lit the same as the rest of the world. You physically can't move this any further downwards, but you can type minus numbers. And as you can see, it gets a bit darker. If we just quickly import a new light, and we'll put this on the other side of it and set this to be 100. You can see that it is a different shade than the other side. So you might be thinking, well, why would this be useful? It seems like a really odd thing to need. But why might I want this? There's a few reasons you might want to use this. The first one that comes to mind straight away, which is the most obvious one, is black holes. Black holes are the absent make an absence light because it stops light being able to leave. Cave entrances or dark caves or some really eerie scenes. Cause look, fairly friendly monkey. Or it's a dark monkey, but it's fairly friendly if we move the torch so we can see it. Look, it looks friendly. It looks happy. If we now bring in our negative light, you can see it gets a darker, gloomier, and almost scarier. Because the lo all the light's being pulled away out of the scene. So it's got some use with usage for mood. The other thing you might want to do is maybe have like torches lighting up an area, but not make it look make it look like it's not making anything brighter. So again, helping with ambience and mood. So there is a use for it. It just might not become clear. But I was messing around, saw this feature. It looks clever. So I'm sure someone will be able to come up with a good use for it. If you do, send me a tweet. I'll be interested. So, thank you for watching this video, if you like, like, liked it, maybe like, maybe take a look at some other things I do, I do a lot of Blender, GIMP, IT, programming, and if you have any suggestions of future things I can do, let me know in the comments, or on Twitter, or Reddit. I'll be interested, and I'm willing to take suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching, bye, bye!